Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export an email um, body to PDF format. There are multiple ways of doing that. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do it through either way uh, through Zenfi. So first thing we want to do, we want to create a flow which uh, gets it started as soon as an email arrives. So the trigger is going to be a Gmail trigger. I'm going to press create. First thing, I'm going to give you the name, um, convert email body to HTML. And let's go and configure the, the trigger. Already I've got a connection set up. If you don't, you just press on the plus button and create one. And this is the inbox I want to monitor. I press save. Um, so first thing we want to do, we've got an action called um, we search for PDF actually shows up convert HTML to PDF. So this action, if you give it HTML content, it uh, converts it to PDF. So HTML content for us in this case comes from the trigger. If you go to the trigger section, you can see a HTML body. You select it, and you can give it a um, name for the output file. I'm going to use the subject line as the name. So you can give it any name um, which suits your situation, but best I'll say subject.pdf. And you can take it further. You can say you can password protect it if you want and enable other uh, restrictions. Now, um, now that I've, I've done this, like converts um, HTML body to PDF, I want to upload this to Google Drive. So go save file. And here it asks which what do you want to upload? I use this more suggest. We say the PDF content you just um, uh, generated. If I want to show you, if you go to action, you know the output of this PDF document. And you're asking me where do you want to save it? I already have created a folder called convert HTML body to PDF. Um, and that's pretty much it. If I press save, I mean this is a folder of uh, are we going to save the generated PDF too? Um, I can publish and run it, or even easier in uh, Zenfi, I can use a test run. So if I go back to um, my inbox, I'm going to export this document to um, PDF and save it to Drive. So let's come back here, um, select that email, and say start. So Zenfi, um, this is a test mode after Zenfi, so it's, it makes it really easy to test and debug your flows. As you can see, you can see um, you can monitor the live progress of uh, the process. And if I come back here, you see the document is generated. It's used the, um, the email subject as a file name. If I open the document, you can see it here. So that's, that's pretty much it, as easy as it is. Um, uh, to export your HTML body, uh, to export uh, your email HTML body to PDF and save it to uh, Google Drive or uh, other systems. But like everything else in Zenfi, you can take it further to suit your needs. For example, if you want to also export the attachments uh, and merge the attachments of the email into the same document, you can easily do that as well. To do that, um, what we want to do, we want to go and say uh, there is another action called merge uh, merge documents, and this one, if you give it a, a one or many documents, one, or one, two, three, or ten documents, it's gonna merge them all together. The document's gotta be PDF. So I'm gonna go and say go get the um, first the doc uh, the PDF file you just generated and merge it with um, all the attachments um, from the email. You can give it a password and I'm gonna give this just uh, prefix it with merge and I use the subject line as well again um, for the file name PDF. Now one thing to notice is um, this I'm just assuming all the attachments gonna be PDF. But in reality, not everything is going to be PDF. It's 
fairly straightforward again with Zenfi to go and do something like query collection. Um, so what we're gonna go, we're gonna do here, we're gonna go and say, go and get me all the attachments. Let's filter it. Whose? MIME type. MIME type is what specifies the type of the, um, the document. MIME type is application slash p pdf and we need all of them um, let's say get all pdf attachments so just like that again you can take it further and add a lot more complex logic there and here instead of um, getting it from the, uh, getting all the attachments from the trigger we go to this action which has already kindly uh, filtered the content to the PDF ones and that's pretty much it and a merge document I'm gonna update this one and say instead of uploading the convert to HTML output go and upload the merge document output and put it in the same folder let's, now let's test it again start I'm gonna use let's, uh, the same email. Let's go back here. Let me make sure it had. Yeah, it's got an attachment. So um, what it's gonna do now behind the scene is gonna first export the HD, uh, the content of the email to PDF, and then it's gonna go get the attach att attachments which are PDF in the, in our case file, merge them together, and upload them to Drive. It has already done it for me, and this is a document. If I show you, this is the initial doc, and this is the attachment of the email. I'll show you the attachment. So it's merged the two documents in here. So this is really helpful. I mean, we've got customers who use these methods for some auditing and um, some legal. Um, based on some legal requirements, it's really easy and useful for them to do it. But also you can take it fair that if you want to, you wanted to, if you say, if you wanted to print out the, um, who's the email uh, from, who was it sent to, and all those aspects, the way to do it is uh, to create a um, template in Google Docs, have the placeholders here, and here what you can do before um, doing all of those things you can do generate um, generate document using templates and I'm gonna configure this let's select the document uh, so when you are exporting it uh, save the document in this folder, I already have created a folder called Generated Documents. Um, also, I'm going to use a subject line here as well, and I'm saying export it to PDF. So I'm going to configure this subject, receive date, and I'll be using this one. So I can say from to and CC. I mean, these are the fields we put in the document, and you can format the document uh, however it works best for you. But just to uh, show you um, in the demo, and so you can get an idea. Um, so I've selected those document, generate email metadata doc. So this one is going to generate it. Um, this uh, generate the metadata, as in like. Who is it from the date and all those things? This one is going to generate the body. Um, this one is going to get all the PDF attachments. And then lastly, um, and I want to merge them. I want to, I'm going to go here and say, you know what? Go and merge the PDF document from here as well. Get this PDF file, clear the first page. And um, that's pretty much it. Before running it, let me delete. Um, delete those files actually. Let me clean up here. Go back, press save, do test run. And 
and then it starts. So just to recap, first thing is going to go and generate a um, document which is already done based on this for email metadata. So if I go back here, generate a document, you can see it has done the first bit. You can format this in however uh, you want. Then um, if I go back, it was um, actually finished running, but I walk you through it uh, so that we can have a recap. It was going to generate the HTML body to um, PDF, then get all the PDF attachments, mesh all the tree, and save it to Google Drive. The output is this one. So this is was the email metadata. Email is from this person. This is a time, and this was sent to this address. This is the email body, and this is the email attachment. And if you had more attachment, it would have mesh all of them as well. So as you can see, it's quite easy uh, to get it started and do uh, start, uh, start small and uh, start implementing all the complex logics, uh, logic which you require for your business um, scenarios in Zenfi with few drag and drops and in a matter of minutes. Uh, hopefully you find this helpful and please let us know if you've got any uh, suggestions or questions. Thank you very much.